Hello, beautiful ones. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Beautifully Woven Woman, where we are learning how to build yourself to be saved and changed, okay? Saved and changed. And so for today's video, we want to talk about how do you know if your womanhood is under attack? We have to understand, remember, that God is our deliverer, that he is the one who leads us into freedom, but we have to learn some identifiers. If we don't have the identifiers, we will continue in the same pattern and processes. They're called cycles. And we want to understand that our womanhood sometimes, most of the time, is under attack. So what are these identifiers? And I want to give you a hint. It's more so of starting in the mind. And so let's consider a couple of things for you to identify the attack that's going on in your thought process. Okay? Because the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. Okay? So that means as you think, what you think about, your belief system, your disbelief, what you devalue, what you desensitize, it all is going to encompass or display or be depicted in who you are. As a man or woman thinketh, so is he or she. Okay, so number one, your mindset is conditioned to devalue, to discredit, to desensitize yourself to outcomes, predicaments, situations. You have, and, and to devalue or desensitize means that you have become numb to it. You suppress it, you ignore it. If you don't talk about it, you don't have to deal with it. If you don't go there, you don't have to feel those emotions. You numb yourself to it. Okay? How do you know that your mindset is conditioned to function under attack? Is like I said, you start to discredit some things. Oh, that's not gonna happen to me. Oh, I, I, uh, uh, that no, mm, mm. I'm discrediting God. I'm discrediting who told you that. I'm discrediting everything. Are you discrediting the wisdom that's coming your way? Are you discrediting some of the consequences to your own behaviors, to your own language? Are, are you discrediting that what you will reap, what you sow? That the seeds that you plant, good or bad, comes with the consequence or a reward? <laughs> are you discrediting any of that okay are you devaluing anything you have a mindset that always devalues you see the glass half empty rather than half full you you see things from a negative perspective you always think the worst because the worst is what happened to you or you allow yourself to think the worst so that you won't be disappointed or let down when you think the worst is going to happen to you how do you know that your womanhood is under attack? I'm giving you some ways to know that your mindset has been conditioned to discredit, to desensitize, to devalue. Now listen to this, to function in unbelief. You don't believe anything anymore. You've allowed yourself to believe. You've allowed yourself to hope. You've allowed yourself to think for the good. You've allowed yourself to do that, those things. And now you're just filled with disbelief unbelief it's hard for you to think that it will happen for you it's hard for you to believe that God will come through for you it's hard for you to believe that you can heal from the pain and the trauma it's hard for you to believe that there is life beyond what you're familiar with beyond your experiences it's hard for you to believe and so you've allowed yourself to get accustomed to what I like to call what your reality is. We know the term reality, your current reality. But God wants your outlook to become shifted from the I can't, from the it's too hard, from the no, I'm good, I don't need that, from the no, that's not for me. <laughs> I got this. See, the mind that's conditioned under attack in the areas that I've all those D's I've already pointed out, the devaluing, the desensitizing, the discrediting, and the disbelief or the unbelief, it causes you to say things like that. Nope, I can't. I can't do that. That's too hard. 
I can't face the trauma because it's too hard. I don't want to talk about the pain because it's too hard. I, I can't be this woman, God, that you want me to be because it's too hard to become. It's too hard to, to learn new. It's new. It's too hard to, to have to go through the, the, the cocoon process in order to become the butterfly. It's too hard. I can't, I can't say those things that you want me to say. I, I can't confront the, the, the accusers to me. I can't. It's too hard. You also find yourself saying things like, no, I don't need that. I don't need to pray. Where has prayer gotten me before? <laughs> or I'll pray, but I'm going to, you know, not believe that it's going to come to pass because while wow, my prayers not being answered, I, I just don't see it happening. You, you begin to talk in a negative way all the time. You begin to say, no, I, I don't need God. <laughs> I got this. There was a point in my life where I actually said, I got this. I, I don't need God. <laughs> Only maybe a couple of months later did I realize that, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. Please forgive me for thinking that way. And that's when, that's when the attack that was on my womanhood began to be lifted. When I actually said, stop saying I can't. It's too hard. No, I'm good. I'm good. See, the I'm good sometimes is often a cover-up to the pain and to the, the lack of self-esteem and the lack of confidence and, and the dis, dis devaluing and desensitizing that has been attacked and, and placed upon and causing your womanhood to function in weariness and worldliness. <laughs> and see, you begin to say all of those phrases and you don't even realize that it's shutting down your perspective. It's shutting down your outlook on life because your outlook is going to determine your life's condition. How you perceive things is going to determine how you go about things. See, God is wanting you to know that your womanhood is under attack when you begin to have negative outlooks, when you begin to have no dream, when you stop dreaming. It's when you begin to, to say, this is just how it's going to be. And what that really is indicating is that you are depending on your own strength. You're depending and relying on yourself or other people to help you navigate through life. And you are allowing yourself to settle in self-strength instead of relying upon the supernatural help of your Savior, Jesus Christ. And so we're just coming me and the love of God are, are coming to, to encourage and remind you to open up your eyes to see the attack that you have allowed yourself to live in. And sometimes if you don't identify it, you don't know that it's there. And so this is just a way to identify what's starting in your mind and how it's being implemented in your life and how you are as a woman your perspective and your outlook. And so because you devour, devalue or you may devalue or discredit or desensitize yourself to God, that means you're also doing that same thing to yourself. Because hope has been deferred for you through the attack, through the mindset that has been conditioned in you that we've already discussed. And so you don't want your hope to be deferred because it'll make your heart sick. You want your hope to be anchored. You want your mind to be able to come out of this stressful thought process which produces a stress-filled you and produces a stress, overwhelmed, and weary life. You want to be able to hope beyond that condition. You want to be able to hope beyond that place. You want to be able to hope beyond that element of being and choose, choose to say, though I can't, there is a God who can help me. <laughs> though I can't, there is a God who gives words in my mouth. Though I can't, there is a supernatural strength that functions in my areas of weakness. See, these are truths that you can use to recondition your mind. <laughs> and I want to encourage you to try. Can you try? I just want to encourage you to try to come up from under this attack that you've been bound by 
You know, because this is the first video of the series that we're in on womanly woes and feminine famines. Womanly woes and feminine famines are when we just function under attack. <laughs> Instead of from our place of victory. And so try, try to learn what living victoriously looks like. Try to learn what navigating through your woes and your famines with your savior looks like. And you want to know where you can start? I have some transitioning tools for you. <laughs> of course I do, right? Of course Jesus does because he loves you enough to meet you where you are and to lead you into trying <laughs> and to leading you into tasting of him and seeing that he is good and to leading you into resources that can help transition your womanhood from weary, worldly, woes and famines and to learning how to navigate through them from a victorious place. From a mindset as, as a woman thinketh, so is she. To thinking that God can. To thinking that God will. To thinking that he will supply me with all of my needs. And so resource number one is an identifier resource to help you dig deeper into knowing that your womanhood is laced in weariness. It's laced in being under attack. And that resource is in the link below. And it is titled, How Do I Know That I I am weary. You need to know how. You need to know where weariness is functioning within your fibers so that you can be led out and led into freedom and led into deliverance. So resource two, transition tool number one is an identifier tool. It's in the link below and it's titled, how do I know that I am weary when I think that I'm good? Okay, let's get beyond what you think and let's get into the truth of what's really happening in this attack. Okay, resource number two is for your mind. Okay, how to manage my mind. All right, that's what it's called and it's in the link below. And that resource is a transition tool because it will lead you into mindset renewal. It's the reconditioning of a mind that's under attack and it's leading you into a mind that's in renewal. That is also in the description box below. I pray that this has been beneficial for you. If you have, you know, engaged with this video, I want you to type in the comments, God is in my business, okay? Type in the comments, God is in my business. He is on my street. I'm raising my hand and I'm gonna say, I can identify that what was spoken in this video is me. Type it in the comments. God is in my business. God is in my business. God is in my business. Like, subscribe to the channel, follow us, turn your notifications on. Be sure to download your resources below for you to identify deeper and further and to transition yourself out. God bless you and I will see you in our next video.